college basketball and on to the Lonzo Ball situation. So what's going on with Lonzo Ball right now is Alan Foster. Okay, hold on. Before I get to the, the news, let me break down how the Big Baller brand was uh, constructed ownership-wise. We have Lonzo Ball at 51% ownership stake in the Big Baller brand. We have LeVar Ball at 16% ownership in the Big Baller brand. And Tina Ball also 16%. And we have Alan Foster, his business partner, who owns 16% of the company. So... Lonzo Ball has severed ties with the Big Baller brand. He, he's not just... Okay, so this is what happened. Alan Foster was found for stealing, or allegedly stealing, $1.5 million from Lonzo's account and his business account. And Lonzo's team claims that he used Lonzo's name and his brand to enrich himself, frauding the company. Um... Later on in their exposing of what's going on with Alan Foster, they exposed that he was a ex-criminal. He spent seven years in jail for fraud. He fraud he frauded investors, seventy investors. He preyed on um, black-owned businesses and church folk and all sorts of nastiness that we're hearing coming out. Like this is some some horrible shit. But this is uh, Lavar's friend for like a decade now, Lavar's right hand man. And he didn't see the bullshit. He didn't see the fuck shit that was going on. And people thought things were weird from the time when they were. It was always weird because when the big ball, when ZO2's shoes dropped, uh, Lonzo's shoes dropped, the ZO2's, when that dropped, people weren't getting their shoes on time. And people were complaining. And Shannon Sharp even didn't even get his shoes on time. And he's like, what's going on? And, you know, the, the Better Business Bureau failed the big baller brand and said it was too much negative complaints and too much negative uh, reviews and uh, bad business practice. Um, in the JBA, there was a player, there's a couple of players, not just a player, a couple of players were complaining about not being paid. And Allen act oblivious to all of this. And he was supposed to be running all of that shit. Uh, LeVar was not having it. LeVar was pissed off at the the lack of, you know, responsibility that he was displaying and the lack of integrity that he was displaying with the, the clients and the the players in the, the JBA. So that created a problem.